Joining us now is FEMA spokesperson John Mills. He's on the ground in Maui County. He's assisting with the recovery efforts. Good morning to you. Uh, we, you know, we know FEMA for being on the scene on hurricane after hurricane. This seems like it has its unique challenges, Mr. Mills. Tell us what you're facing right now. Hoda Savannah, good morning uh, to both of you. Uh, FEMA's number one priority right now is helping people who've been directly affected by these historic fires, people who've lost their homes and frankly don't know where they're going to go next. Right now we do have our disaster survivor assistance crews going to the local shelters, working one-on-one -on -one with survivors, helping them register for disaster assistance. What are the challenges I think mm -hmm. Hoda was just alluding to when you're talking about fires of this nature, mm -hmm. but also on an island, rather remote location? Mm -hmm. That's right. I, I just drove in from Lahaina a few minutes ago. Uh, power is being restored. The power company gave a good update about that. Uh, cellular phone service is being restored. But we're very mindful right now that we have FEMA urban search and rescue teams working all day long to support the local fire department in looking for human remains. We know that the death toll here, we're told, is expected to continue to rise. So this is a very somber and respectful process that we're going through at the same time, working across multiple lines of effort in mass care, emergency services, critical infrastructure and housing to figure out the next steps and support Maui County and support the state with not just short term needs, but also longer term recovery. Yeah, there are people, as you mentioned, who obviously they have nowhere to live, nowhere to go, and they're looking for housing. You're talking about months, maybe even years before there's any kind of rebuilding. What kind of housing will be available for those people who are seeking it? Right now, FEMA is providing money directly to survivors for critical needs, home repair and replacement, temporary rental assistance for those who need to pay for a new place to live temporarily, and also helping people with money to replace personal property that was damaged or destroyed. We've also activated our transitional sheltering assistance program, which helps get people into hotels and out of the shelters. The state has also announced a hotel program to try to help people at least take the next step to get a roof over their head, get out of a congregate shelter, and into a hotel room that's a little more private. I also want to point out that neighbors are really doing an amazing job. So many people are taking survivors into their homes and giving them a temporary place to live. I've met with a community organization and also with volunteers. I've personally provided them with FEMA registration flyers so they can all work together to help spread the word about how survivors can register for disaster assistance, not only from FEMA, but also from charitable, nonprofit, and faith-based organizations that are working right now in Maui County and making a big difference in people's lives. All right, okay. John Mills, we thank you so much for your time on this busy day. We appreciate it. Thank you. We should also mention that you can text Hawaii to 90999. You can make a $10 donation to the Red Cross. A lot of people want to give there. And we have more ways you can help. That's on our website at today.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.